Hello from Ibu. Today I'd like to demonstrate a new module for easily recording payments on payslips, just like you would on supplier invoices or employee expenses. So let's get started by creating a new payslip. And if we confirm this payslip, a new register payment button will show up. Likewise, we can go back to all employee payslips and filter for needs payment, which we see two. We have slip 9 and slip 12. Let's go ahead and register our payment for slip 12 here. Um, obviously, I could do a check and the check would appear um, to be printed and everything like that. In this case, though, I'm just going to go ahead and do a manual one. The amount comes from the employee portion of the payable account and the memo comes from the payslip. You can, of course, overwrite both. All right, now we have has been paid here. And if we go over to our accounting, we can create a new bank statement to reconcile these entries. Um, so let's say bank statement, great, testing payroll. And uh, we'll add a new line and say this is an auto deposit. The negative amount there, and then we will add another one, which would be something like maybe the check that we printed off that we didn't actually print off, but it's okay. And save, and now we can reconcile these entries. So we see that um, one of them got auto reconciled to slip nine, which is actually the wrong one, but that's okay. Um, we can take them off. Uh, we could fix this, but we don't really need to. So slip nine is going to be paid via the check. And this one's going to be paid via this one. Obviously, if the amounts were different, this wouldn't be such a big, big problem. So now we can go back over to our payroll. And we will see that there are no payslips that need payment. And in fact, we can go into our payslip nine that we had and that no longer has the register payment button and has been marked as paid. Some kind of uh, notes about the accounting setup for this. Um, if you have your employee rules go into something like a employee net payable or employee payable, uh, that will need to be the account that the employee's home address, that is the address that is registered as kind of the partner for that, that employee, will need to have that in the accounts payable. We can go to contacts administrator and see that in the accounting tab, they have employee payable as their account payable account. Um, you could, of course, use account payable, but you would need to set up your payroll rules to also use account payable for the employee portion of the payments. And with that, we end the video. Thank you very much and have a great day.